Welcome to Ekideo, where I will train future civil and structural engineer. My name is Justice Umoka. I am your instructor. Today, I will be showing you a very simple rule to design a retaining wall. So if maybe in your building, you have a basement floor and you want to design for the basement, we all know that basements must carry a retaining wall and almost carry a shear wall here, yeah? so which will be able to retain the soil. Okay, so, but there is a rule that you are meant to know before you can model or design for, for a retaining wall. So, I'll be showing you that rule in this eight-story office building, because this is an eight-story office building, which we have as a course video. So, we have a complete course video for this a story building which will soon be on our ekidel.com website so because we are just building our site recently but if you want this video you can still use a normal payment link for to get the complete of this eight story um hotel building and then if, when our website gets launched by the seventh of this month then we will add this video this video this course video on the course tab okay but for now let me just show you guys how to um design for a retaining wall there are some things you should consider and which i'm going to show you just now okay so right now i'll go back to the foundation floor so it's totally one first we are this we are this um basement is and then go back to plan view from that okay now on this place now i'll just turn off on turn on my axis line back now I'll, I'll just i'll just quickly take off all the retaining walls that is here and then show you guys how to now do that separately so i'll quickly turn it off just now so i'll really um, take it off just now i can choose to um take it off from this point here from here and then hold my control key and then take it off from here that's so quick to take it off and then since i have a lift here i'll just deselect the lift by holding my control key and then deselect the lifts because i want to just work on the perimeter walls which is trying to retain the soil around the basement area okay so right now i'll just delete this right now just now and take this off delete and i'll say yes just the walls okay so right now i have taken off all the walls on this very floor and if you check on the 3d view now you will see that the basement floor don't have any retaining wall any longer okay so right now i'll just quickly go um back to plan view right now and then you will see sorry plan view plan view for this sorry 3d view and then show you guys just that okay that's fine so you can see that the basement floor now don't have any longer the the retaining wall along this area so now to now the principle that you must do or you must follow to design for your retaining wall if you don't follow this principle then you'll be having your retaining wall failing after your design okay so right now to, to do that you have to click on the wall icon first now to click on the wall icon the principle of a retaining wall first of all start with first i'll go and check the height of this basement floor which i can get that from um this place here and get that from my um story edit story edit story height which i can get that height of the basement let me just show you guys and that should be around 3.6 meters or, or, or thereabouts so let me just check that just now okay so right now this is the, okay this is the ground floor this, this is the basement floor which is the only one this is the basement floor and the height of the basement is three meters as you can see that three thousand millimeters which is basically three meters so i'll go now and say cancel and then i'll now click on my wall icon which is this yes wall icon to now begin to insert my wall now since i have known that the, that the width that, that, that the height of my wall is three meters so what is the principle the principle of a retaining wall states that the width of the the that, that the width of the wall should be 10% of the height of the wall. So knowing that my basement height is already 3 meters, so 10% of that should be what? 300. So 10% of 3 meters will be 300. So basically, 
the minimum width of my retaining wall should start with 300 because that is the 10% of um, of the height of the retaining wall. Okay, so that is one of the rules that you must take into consideration. So which I have just taken just now. So I'll just go here right now. I'm going to now insert my basement based on the principle which I've just showed you guys just now. So I'm going to insert that just now and then continue again. I have my basement from here to here. So if maybe you you want this course video, you want to know how to design a high rise building for this eight story building. I would say you should check on the link below and download the full complete course for this video. And then also, if you cannot use the link, you can then wait for when we launch our website by next week or next two weeks. And then you can now um, engage yourself on the course following our website. Okay. So right now, I'll just put in my um, retaining wall along the basement perimeter okay then also this this retaining wall will be able to to retain the soil outside the perimeter of this building okay so this again right now and come here that and also if you're new in this channel ekidel i'll say you should um click on the subscribe button if you have not done that yet and once again, I want to say Happy New Month to, to the month of May 2023. So if you're watching this video in 2080, just know that this video was done in 2023. Okay? So, and also for those, all those people watching already on this new month, I say to you, you're welcome to Ekidel. And then, God bless you and bless the works of your hand. Okay? So right now, I'm almost done modeling this new wall. If you have any questions so far, about this training wall, I would say that you should just um, drop the comment down below and we will reply you whenever we get your comment notification. Okay, and also for those of you that have not turned on your video your video notification, I would say that you should turn on your notifications so that you can be updated whenever we post video because now that we are launching our website to serve it better, we will be working more and more on different conceptual designs. As you can see that most of our videos right now we are entering into high-rise building so we will be designing many high-rise buildings this year so if you check on our 3d view now as you can see that we are already done with the uh with this if you check now you will now see that this is not the basement so you can see the basement now you can see the basement floor just now i can turn off my grid line to just to show you guys um how good it is so this is now my basement um floor which this was now will be able to retain the the soil around that around the perimeter of this basement although in my next video i'll be showing you how to apply a, an, an active pressure on the retaining wall because you have to apply the force of the soil that 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 is trying to push this this um, wall away from its origin so i will show you how to apply that that um, active force also active pressure on the retaining wall okay so that's in this will be the end of the video for now because the reason for the video is just to show you how to um like like the rules engage when you're um when you're inserting your retaining wall either in either on manual or or with any software you must follow the guiding principle that the width of your retaining wall should be 10 percent at least 10 percent of the height of the wall which I have just applied for you now, and you see that the height of our wall is 3 meter, and then the width of our wall is 300, okay? So, I'll be performing the full live design for this video, although I have already done, we have already done all every, everything about this um, video, starting from the modeling stage, and then up to this very stage, and also we have done the design, and also the um the telling so if maybe you want um to get the complete video i would say you can um, make yourself available to use the link down below and get yourself the complete course video for this it's story building okay so thank you so much and god bless you
And if you're new in Ekidel, you can check out all our videos on detailing and then watch how to perform your detailing after you are done with Puta Structure. Okay, so thank you so much and God bless you. We we'll love you and then see you again in um, um, anytime this week. So goodbye and God bless you.